Here's your apple. Have a nice day. Thanks. You too. Are you going to eat that? No. I'm going to throw it at someone. You go left. I'll flake him on the right. Are you playing video games? No. I'm flying a kite. Mom, I have to pee. Okay. Should I pull over? No. I'll just pee my pants. What's going on, boys and girls? It's your boy, Luke. 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 Oh, are you making a video? No. I'm talking to the wall. Hey, Luke, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the ghost. <laughs> Did you just slap me? No, I gave your face a high five. How's your meal tasting, sir? Can I speak to the manager, please? Of course, just one moment. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah, I wanted to compliment you on your very clean kitchen. Clean kitchen? <laughs> Have you seen our kitchen? No, but it must be clean because all this food tastes like soap. <laughs> I'm not going to school anymore. What? Why not? On Monday morning, the teacher said four and four make eight. What's wrong with that? On Tuesday, she said six and two make eight. Yeah, she's right. Now today, she said five and three make eight. So I'm not going back until she makes up her mind. Duh. Easter eggs you didn't notice in Frozen 2. In this scene, Elsa was playing with toys made out of snow. The one she's holding in her hand isn't just any elephant. It's actually Dumbo. And then right here on the ground is Baymax from Big Hero 6. And next to it is the Super Dog from the movie Bolt. And lastly, next to Anna is the Princess Snow White. How did you get 2 plus 2 wrong? I don't know. You're stupid, that's how. i slap you, but that would be animal abuse. Hello? <laughs> Yo, why you look like that? What do you mean? Uh, nah, nothing. What the this is natural. This is natural? I'm, well, I'm TikTok famous, so I don't know if you want to be in a video or not. Do you want to be in a video? Do I want to be in a video? Yeah. Sure. All right, here's my TikTok. Hold on. Luca Davidson? Yes. Imagine my, it's like a million followers. What the f- Yo! He got 3.7 million! Can I bring this magazine next door and get a photocopy? Piece of my D, like a driver's license or a credit card. But my wife's here getting a haircut. Yes, I know, but I'll need something you'll come back for. <laughs> Tell me the name of this bird by looking at its legs. I don't know. You failed. What's your name? Look at my legs and you'll know. You're such a tryhard. No, I'm just better than what you expected. I'm sorry, but you suffer from a terminal illness and you only have ten to live. Ten what? Years? Months? Weeks? Nine. What? Eight. <laughs> I wanted to say I like you. Do you like me? No. Oh. You never asked if I love you. Aww. Do you love me? No. It's the only way to survive a falling elevator. Most people think you should jump right before you hit the ground. However, it'll be difficult to jump when you're falling. And secondly, if you're falling at a speed of 50 miles per hour and you jump 5 miles per hour into the air, you'll still hit the ground going 45 miles per hour. Now before I tell you what you should do, I found this app that lets you FaceTime with your favorite celebrities. Press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. Now instead of jumping, you should lie flat on your back, because this way the impact is spread equally through your whole body. But just remember, with today's modern safety features, your chances of dying are 1 in 10 million. Doctor, I want to lose weight. What should I do? Do you want my camera? What about my iPhone 12 Pro Max? What about my Lamborghini? What about a hundred million dollars? Congrats, you're skinny now. I'm not feeling very well. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, for sure. I'm afraid he's not gonna make it, unless you treat him like a king and you're at his side 24 hours a day. So what did the doctor say? Well, she said you probably won't make it. Words can't even describe how beautiful you are. Aww, thank you. But numbers can. Secrets hotels don't want you to know. The free breakfast they offer isn't really free. The cost of the breakfast is included in the room's rate. The people who work in housekeeping only straighten the sheets and arrange the pillows. They only wash them if there's a visible stain. Booking a room is more expensive at night because that's when most people are looking for reservations. The ideal time to call the hotel is between 5 and 6 p.m. Because at night they increase their prices because they know there's not many other options. 
Dipping the staff can give you a lot of benefits, such as deeper cleaning in your room, a special treatment, improvements in your room, and in general, better service. Five-star hotels know your social status before you arrive and will give more attention to famous or wealthy people. And lastly, everything is negotiable. Hotels will always be open to negotiating a few things so you stay and leave a high review. I'm gonna ask you a question and your answer should be quick, okay? Okay. Two plus two. Quick. It says on the menu that you sell fat-free fries, is that true? Yep, 100%. Really? Well then I'll get a large. Okay, it'll only be a minute. Wait a minute, why are the potatoes dripping with oil? I thought you said it was fat-free. It is, you only have to pay for the potatoes. <gasps> you have beautiful eyes. Thank you. You have a beautiful face. I know. You're lucky to be born with good looks. I know, okay? And then there's me. I was born a liar. Where's my birthday gift? Can you see the red hot Ferrari on the other side of the road? Yes, yes, yes! Oh my gosh, I love you! I bought the same color nail polish for you. Alright, a uh, final question. Can you count from 5 to 10 for me? Sure, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Congratulations, you've got the job. Thank you so much, sir. I won't let you down. Are you on TikTok? Maybe. Do you want to be my 1,000th no, follower? No, no, I'll show you on my four years. <laughs> no. No, what's your TikTok? What's your TikTok? Here, I'll take you. Okay, okay. I'm I only need one more follower till I'm at 1,000. No. Oh. Oh. No, Madison. Uh -huh. Oh my what? God! <laughs> you have no. No, you're kidding. No. Oh my you God. You have four million you. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So this is gonna be your workspace right here. Um, is that the fire alarm? Yes, it is. We better get out of here. Oh, and you know the drill, right? Yeah. Hi. It's nice to see you again. Yeah. Same to you. He always wears that ugly shirt. <laughs> my back's not a voicemail. Say it to my face. I'm so sorry. What can I get for you to drink today? Just a beer, please. Why are you so down today? What's wrong? My wife and I got into a fight and she said she wouldn't talk to me for a month. So, what's wrong with that? The month ends today. <laughs> what's wrong? My crush won't text me back. Let me see what you sent her. Hey girl, every time I see you, I smell your hair. Hmm. I think I know why she's not responding. Really? Why? Well, she probably gets lots of messages from boys, so you need to do something to stick out. And how do I do that? Download Font Key by pressing the link on Luke's TikTok profile. Okay, now what? Now use one of the cool fonts to send her a message. Okay. <gasps> she didn't answer. Give her a few minutes, jeez. What do you want to drink? Sorry, I have a boyfriend. I'm the waiter, stupid. Why do you look so fat? I have a baby inside me. Is it a good baby? Yes, it's a very good baby. Then why did you eat it? Ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? No, but I'm in a rush. I understand, ma'am, but I have to ticket anyone over 55. That's discrimination! Ma'am, I meant the speed limit. <gasps> What's your name? Hired. You're hired? Thank you very much. Secret messages hidden in popular logos. In the FedEx logo, there's an arrow in between the E and the X. It stands for moving forward, speed, and precision. In the Amazon logo, there's an orange arrow that goes from A to Z. And this means they have you covered for every letter in the alphabet. In the Tostitos logo, the two lowercase T's represent people holding a chip. And the I is a table holding a bowl of salsa. In the Hershey's Kisses logo, the space in between the K and the I is shaped as one of their chocolates. In the Pringles logo, the dot on the I is actually a chip. The B in this logo doesn't just represent beats, but also someone wearing a pair of headphones. We're gonna do a memory test. What's 3 times 3? 274. Stop. It's your turn. What's 3 times 3? Tuesday. Okay, your turn. What's 3 times 3? 9? Yes, that's it. How did you get the answer? Simple. I subtracted 274 from Tuesday. 
I'm in a dilemma. I just got a package delivered to my house, but I want to be able to disinfect it from germs before I bring it inside. Just use Lysol disinfectant spray. What does that do? You just spray it on a surface and it kills 99.9% .9 of germs, so you don't have to worry about what you're bringing inside your house. <gasps> Here is the only way to survive a tsunami. If you want a chance of surviving, you'll need to be able to identify the early signs of a tsunami. In most cases, an earthquake happens before a tsunami, so protect yourself from that first, then get to high ground as quickly as possible. Another sign is the water will pull back and expose more land. Don't go investigate because you'll be putting your life at risk for when the water comes back. Instead, head in the opposite direction. Try to get 2 miles away from the ocean or at least 100 feet above sea level to be safe. If you don't have time to get far away, look for a tall, sturdy building and get to the top as fast as possible. If you can't get to a building, find something and hold on to it. When you think it's over, it probably won't be. Tsunami waves can be anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour apart. So stay in a safe place until you hear from your local officials. Do you have $50 to lend me? I'll pay you back tomorrow. No, I don't. Sorry. Give me $50 right now. I just found $50. Here, bro. You can pay me back tomorrow. You know that I won't. So, are you gonna wear your new shoes today? Yeah, why else would I buy them? Oh, I don't know, just try not to get them dirty on the first day. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. So, how was school today? Good. Did you learn anything new? <sighs> oh, did anyone compliment you on your new shoes? No, Mom, nobody cares about my shoes. Why did everyone get a bad mark? Because there's a hard test. Yeah. That test was easy. Yeah, because you have the answers. I like your tan. Thank you. Orange is my favorite color. <laughs> Mine's yellow. That's why I like your teeth. Would you like to be the sun in my life? Oh, yes. Good. Let's stay 92.96 million miles away from me. <laughs> Pay attention! I am paying attention, ma'am. Oh, really? What's the last thing I said? The last thing you said is pay attention. <coughs> can I ask one question? But you just did. You know that I okay, can I ask two questions? You, you already did. You know okay, can I ask I four questions? You just did, again. Mine. When? Until right I now. Secrets movie theaters don't want you to know. Movie theaters earn very little from ticket sales. That's why they decided to lower the cost of tickets and raise the cost of food. So the earnings would go entirely to the movie theater. Food combos won't always save you money. Sometimes it's just a strategy to make you think it's the best option. So next time check if it's better to buy a combo or buy the food separately. Sometimes there's people yelling at the cabin for the movie to start. But what they don't know is that the cabin is completely empty. Thanks to new technology, human assistance isn't needed. Movies will never start at the time the ticket says it will. This way they'll get more people to watch the ads before the movie. And if you ever thought you were cool sneaking into another movie than the one that you bought, the employees don't really care as long as there are seats available. Where's the remote? For the TV? No! For the spaceship! Is that your water? No! It's my food! Are you brushing your teeth? No! I'm brushing the dog! Ah, this stupid computer's broken! Luke, can you help me? What's the problem? It says press F5, but it doesn't work. Okay, show me. Press F5. <gasps> How was school today, Luke? It was so boring. I just hate it. Breaking news. Turn up, turn up, turn up! Okay, jeez. Tonight, we're expecting 45 to 50 centimeters of snow, so avoid traveling if you can. 50 centimeters? I hope it's a snow day tomorrow. Dad, what are the chances that it'll be a snow day tomorrow? I don't know. You've asked me a hundred times today and it's getting really annoying, so just go to bed. Okay, jeez. I swear, if it's not a snow day tomorrow... I don't even know what will happen. Uh-oh. It's the moment of truth. Come on, my heart's beating so fast. Yes! <laughs> Are you guys ready to play Fortnite all day? <gasps> it's a slow day! Oh. Good morning, class. How is everyone today? Good. Here's how to fall asleep faster at night. A few simple things you could try is lowering the temperature in your room, avoiding naps during the day, and avoiding screen time an hour before you go to bed. 
But the number one thing that keeps people up at night is when they can't stop thinking about something or they're stressed out. The easiest way to reduce stress is by meditating or listening to relaxing sounds. I personally use this meditation app that plays relaxing music to help clear my mind. I set the timer on the music to 10 minutes, then I turn off my phone and fall asleep. If you want to try it out tonight, click the link on my profile, then press meditation app and download it. Thank me later. Hello? Are you there? Yes. Who are you? I'm Watt. What's your name? Watt's my name. Yes. What's your name? My name is John Watt. John what? Yeah. Are you Jones? No, I'm not. Will you tell me your name then? Will not. Why not? My name is not. Not what? Not what? Not. You have one new voice message. Hi, honey. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be home late. So can you please wash my clothes and make my favorite meal for supper? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, right. Now what? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I got a raise at my job, so I'm going to buy you a brand new car. What? Hello? Are you actually buying me a new car? No, I just wanted to make sure you got my first message. <gasps> what comes after five? Six, seven. Good! You're an intelligent young boy. What comes after six, seven? Eight, nine, ten. Excellent! And what comes after eight, nine, ten? Jack, queen, king. Stop taking pictures of yourself. Make me. I'm sorry, but your mom already made that mistake. I'm actually just trying to find my celebrity lookalike, see? What? How do I do that? Just click the link on my profile, then press celebrity lookalike and download it. <laughs> I got the same as you. <laughs> Here's the only way to survive a tornado. If you're outside and you see one, don't stand there and watch it because it could change direction at any minute. Get inside your house and go to the basement, or get under something to cover yourself from flying glass. If you're away from home and in a vehicle, make sure your seatbelt's done up, put clothes or a blanket over top of you, and protect your skull. If you're not in a vehicle or you can't find a building, find the lowest point like a ditch, lay face down, and put your hands over your head to protect yourself from flying debris. Just make sure to stay away from overpasses and bridges so there's less things flying around. How did your meal taste, sir? You know what, can I just speak to the manager, please? Yes, of course. I'll go grab him. You wanted to speak with me? Yeah, hi. You must have a really clean kitchen. <sighs> have you seen our kitchen? Because all this food tastes like soap. <gasps> Will you remember me tomorrow? Yeah. Will you remember me next week? Yeah. Will you remember me next month? Yeah. Will you remember me next year? Yeah. Knock knock. Who's there? See, you forgot me already. Real life glitches caught on camera. A guy pulled out a camera to take a picture of a bird when he seen this helicopter taking off. The helicopter starts flying but the propellers aren't even moving. A dad was recording his son while he was looking in the mirror. The boy turned around to look at the camera but his reflection in the mirror didn't follow his actions. In 1995 when Mike Tyson was boxing, there was somebody in the crowd recording on a phone. But the thing is, phones with cameras didn't come out until 5 years after this fight. And finally, these people were having a street race on the highway. As soon as the cars passed, you could see a dog in the middle of the highway. It would have been impossible to miss so it had to have teleported. And this is my favorite room. It's the office. Are there any ghosts? Any what? Does the house have any ghosts? Oh, no, of course not. <sighs> Dang it. You want ghosts? It's just, I don't have many friends, and I'm gonna be lonely here by myself, so I'd like some people to talk to. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no ghosts here. Shall we move on to the rest of the house? Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Oh. Um, with who? I'll take it. Lucky discoveries that made people rich. A collector bought a painting and when he went to fix the frame, he realized that inside was a piece of paper. But it wasn't just any piece of paper. He found a copy of the United States Declaration of Independence. He bought the painting for $4, but the piece of paper is worth almost $1 million. A man whose hobby is to use a metal detector to search for treasure got really lucky. He found a strange greenish piece with a red engraving, then a chain, and finally a Celtic treasure, which is again worth close to $1 million. As a couple was packing to move to a new house, they found an action copy comic book number one, dated 1938 in one of the boxes in their attic. Only 99 copies of this comic exist and each are sold for 1.5 million dollars. This is the best movie of the year. Keep on rolling your eyes, maybe you'll find a brain back there. Crazy lies you were told as a child. Lie number one, sitting too close to a TV will make you go blind. The truth is that watching TV too close won't cause any physical damage to your eyes, but watching TV without blinking will give you eye strains, and watching it in the dark can give you headaches. Lie number two, cracking your joints will lead to arthritis. 
The popping noise you hear is the release of gas due to the sudden change of joint position. Lie number three, people swallow eight spiders a year while they sleep. Spiders are actually too scared to approach you when you're sleeping. Even though you're not moving, they can still hear you breathing. I have the perfect son. Does he smoke? Nope. Does he drink alcohol? Nope. Does he ever come home late? Never. I guess you really do have the perfect son. He'll be six months old next week. Son, go clean your room. My room is clean. Then why is there clothes on the ground? I believe it's called gravity. Bro, I got 99 on my geography test. Really? But you know nothing about geography. I know lots. Then tell me, where's China? It's on page 21. Huh. Hey, are you a photographer? No. Me neither, but I can picture us together. Kids, what does the chicken give you? Meat! Very good. Now what does the pig give you? Bacon! Great! And what does the fat cow give you? Homework! <laughs> Lawyers hope you get sued, doctors hope you get sick, cops hope they are criminal, mechanics hope you have car troubles, but only a thief wishes you success. When you say forward or back, your lips move in those directions. We've woken up thousands of times, but we're still not used to it. Secret messages hidden in popular logos. Hyundai. Lots of people think the logo is just the first letter of the company, but it also symbolizes a client and a representative of the company shaking hands. Adidas. The logo has three stripes that form a triangle. This symbolizes a mountain which represents the challenges all athletes have to overcome day after day. Toyota. The logo is actually a needle with a thread passing through it to represent their past, because they used to make weaving machines. However, the individual parts of the logo also spell out the company's name. Who has trouble falling asleep at night? I'm so good at sleeping I could do it with my eyes closed. Wow, what about you, Eric? I do have trouble, but I'm thinking about decorating my bedroom to look like a classroom. If you guys really want to fall asleep faster, do what I do and use the app that's on my profile. Are you good at physics? Can you help me? Two elephants were walking together. One was red and one was left-handed. How old is my dog if I like pancakes? Yeah, what's the question? Secret places hidden in famous locations. In the Eiffel Tower, there's a small apartment built at the top that the designer built for himself. Visitors can buy a ticket to look through the window into his apartment. In London, you could find a secret base in a lamppost located in the famous Trafalgar Square, which is the smallest police station in the world. It was built during the Great Depression of 1929 to control the riots that occurred in the area. The Grand Central Terminal train station has a tennis court hidden in a small space called the Annex. It's been used as a recording studio and even an art gallery, and you could even visit it whenever you want. Andrew Gordon discovered a small hole with a key while exploring Pixar Studios. When he went inside, he found an empty spot and turned it into Lucky 7 Lounge, an area for employees to relax, have a drink, and get some rest. Sweetheart, do you have any jokes? Yeah, I have a really good joke. Okay, then tell me that very nice joke that you have. You. Hello? Honey, it's me. Are you at the golf course? Yeah, why? I'm at the mall. I found a leather coat. It's only a thousand dollars. Can I get it? Sure. Go ahead if you really like it. I also stopped by the Mercedes dealership and seen one that I really like. How much is it? Ninety-eight thousand. Okay, but for that price, make sure it comes with all the options. Great. Oh, and one more thing. The house that I wanted last year is back on market for nine hundred eighty thousand. Well, then offer nine hundred thousand and they'll probably take it. But if not, offer an extra fifty thousand if you think it's a good price. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you so much. You're worth it. Bye. Does anybody know whose phone this is? Sir, your x-ray showed a broken rib. What? Will I survive? Don't worry, we fixed it with Photoshop. I'm gonna ask him right now. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Can I go to Jesse's house? Huh? Can I go to Jesse's house? Yeah, you can go. We're not doing anything today. <laughs> Here is the only way to survive a plane crash. When booking your flight, try to get a seat in the exit row or within five seats from it. People in those seats have the highest survival rates. Wear pants and a long sleeve shirt made of non-inflammable material like cotton or denim. And sturdy shoes. You want clothes that don't restrict movement but also protect you against flames and flying debris. Bring a smoke hood or a wet cloth in a plastic bag. Most people survive impact but die of smoke inhalation. If you don't have these, breathe through your clothes. 
When boarding the plane, count the seats between you and the nearest front and rear emergency exit. So if it gets smoky, you could feel your way to safety. When instructed, brace yourself by putting your feet on the ground, crossing your arms on the seat in front of you, and lowering your head. Remain that way until you come to a complete stop, then by crouching so you still get some air, leave the plane and get away as far as possible. How to survive a dog attack. First you need to stay calm and still. The reason dogs attack is because they're afraid, and they've learned that offense is their best defense. So if you yell or make lots of motion, you'll cause their fear to increase and they'll be more aggressive. The second thing is to avoid eye contact. When you stare, it scares them, and again, causes them to be more aggressive. The third thing is to avoid running because it'll trigger them to chase you. Now if you think it's gonna bite you, put a purse, jacket, or any object in between you and the dog. Then use it as a shield to prevent it from getting close to you. But if the bite's unavoidable, defend yourself with one of your forearms, and use your other arm to protect your face, throat, and stomach. Once the dog is calmed down, slowly back away without turning around. And finally, after the attack, go to the emergency room to check your injuries. Luke, what's 1 minus 1? 1 minus 1? Yeah, if you subtract 1 from 1, what do you get? 1. No, try again. 2? Okay, let's do it this way. If you have only one potato chip left in the frying pan and you take it out of the pan... Oh, I know the answer. You do? What is it then? Cooking oil. <gasps> have you ever wondered how to get these secret emojis? Well, I'm gonna show you how. First, you're gonna wanna click the link on my profile, then press keyboard hack and download the app. Once you open it, it'll show you the simple steps to add the fonts and emojis to your keyboard. Then after you press this button, it'll give you access to new fonts and the emojis I showed you at the start of the video so you can show off to your friends. Thank me later. Is everything okay? I had a really scary dream and now my stomach hurts. What was it about? It was about me eating a really large marshmallow. A large marshmallow? <gasps> Luke, where's your pillow? Why did you hit my son? Because he called me fat. By slapping him, you think you'll lose weight? <laughs> Look what I brought home. <gasps> Is that for us? No! It's for the neighbors. Is this your homework? No! It's my job application. Is that a $10 bill? No! It's a million dollars. Babe, am I pretty or ugly? Both. What do you mean? You're pretty ugly. <laughs> Are you a camera? What kind of question is that? Because every time I look at you, I smile. Mom, can we go to the doctors? Do you need to get something checked out? No! I want to go watch TV in the waiting room. Happy Mother's Day! That's for me? No! It's for Dad! Mom, where's your laptop? Why? What do you mean, why? Well, did you want to use it? No! I wanted to throw it out the window! What are you doing? I'm playing Monopoly. Why? I'm trying to get the get out of jail free card. <gasps> if you can make me laugh, I'll PayPal you one cent. I... no. What about a dollar? Oh, oh, I don't know, that's a big bank. Mm-hmm. Um, no. <laughs> what about two? No. Three? It's not worth my time. Five dollars. Take it or leave it. What can I get with five dollars? You could get a Big Mac. I could. I definitely could. Alright, try. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Funny, man. I... No joke, send it. Why? Because I sent you the money, you made me laugh. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You actually sent me <laughs> Why? It's Christmas. Man was home alone when he heard on the news the description of a murderer that was on the loose. He looked through his glass window and seen a man standing there in the snow. He matched the profile of the murderer exactly and was smiling at him through the window. He immediately picked up his phone and dialed 911. He went back to the window and noticed the man was much closer now. He dropped his phone in shock when he noticed there was no footprints in the snow. Then he realized it was just his reflection the whole time. If you want more creepy stories like that, just download the app on my profile. Hey officer, my wife is missing. She went out yesterday and she never came home. Okay, stay calm sir. What's her height? <sighs> Um, maybe like 5'5", five, five? no, 5'7", five, 5'6", five, I'm not too sure, she's shorter than me. Okay, what's her weight? I have no clue, um, she's not really slim, but she's not really big. What about her eye color? I think they're green. Wait, no, brown. Actually, I don't know, I, re I never really looked that close. What color's her hair? Uh, I'm not too sure, she just went to a new hairdresser, so it changed. Okay, what was she wearing when you last saw her? She was wearing a blue dress. Or were those jeans? Or maybe she was wearing shorts. I don't know. <sighs> Did she take a vehicle when she left? Yes, she took my vehicle. And would you happen to know the brand? 
Yes, it's a 2022 Black Sport appearance 4 F-150 Lariat 5 liter V8 engine with 400 horsepower and 400 torque stock. But I installed a 3 liter Whipple supercharger, so now it has 775 horsepower and 685 torque. It has the max trailer tow package, so it has a big 136 liter gas tank, black leather seats, power deployable running boards, twin moonroof, FX4 off-road package with skid plates, Bang & Olufsen Unleashed 18 speakers sound system, 360 cameras, blue cruise so it could drive itself, power tailgate, 2000 watt generator built in the bed, 3.73 electric lock rear axle, upgrade all terrain tires, 20 inch 5 spoke, dark alloy wheels, and it also has a Borla Attack exhaust with black chrome tips, and unfortunately one of them has a dent in it from a rock. Don't worry sir, we'll find your vehicle. <laughs> Thank you. Dumbest Things Bought by Billionaires Part 2 When a Hong Kong businessman inherited a 26 karat black diamond, he decided he wanted to keep it with him at all times. He got a craftsman to make him a custom iPhone 5 with a diamond mounted on the home button. The back of the phone is covered in 24 karat gold, the sides are layered with 653 white diamonds, and the screen is sapphire glass made with real sapphires bringing the total cost of the phone to 15 million dollars. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name's Luke. What's yours? Oh, I don't have a name. What do you mean you don't have a name? Everyone has a name. I do have a name. Then what is it? I don't have a name. Oh. Mantis may have found a way to live forever. There are companies that freeze you as soon as you die. This is called cryonics. They remove your blood and replace it with antifreeze so it keeps your cells alive. They then put your body in storage and freeze it at minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. They hope that one day in the future when technology and medicine evolves, they could be brought back to life. Coffee or tea? Um, coffee. Wrong. It's tea. <gasps> I always see comments asking me to make a tutorial on how to do the face. I'm away camping, so I figured I'd do it. All you have to do is smile as hard as you can, then open your eyes wide at the same time, tilt your head down, and roll your eyes up. Did you eat all your food? No! I pressed the delete button on my keyboard. Ah, oh, shoot. Did you just spill water on the floor? No! The floor was thirsty! Create password... And... Enter. Are you human? No! I'm a guinea pig! Better run back over to my house before 12am. I'll see you next year! <laughs> Good one. Hey Luke! What? Why was 6 afraid of 9 on New Year's Eve? I don't know. Why? Because 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Happy New Year! Luke, guess what? What? I haven't showered since last year! <laughs> I wish I looked like you. You just need to exercise. Shut up, you're born skinny. If you ran like your mouth, you would be too. Dumbest Lottery Winners After winning $1.3 million in the California Lottery, Dennis Rossi filed for divorce from Thomas Rossi so she wouldn't have to share the money with him. Thomas decided to sue her for violating state law and he kept all the money. Michael Carroll won $14 million when he was just 19. After claiming he wouldn't spend the money on dumb things, he bought multiple luxury cars, mansions, and other expensive things. To this day, he lost all his money and works at a cookie factory. Jack Whitaker won $315 million in the US Lottery. When he claimed it, he took it all in cash. However, thieves broke into his house and took millions of dollars. I recently became a mom. Congratulations, teacher. But my baby keeps crying and won't fall asleep. Do you know how I can make her fall asleep? Yeah, that's easy. How? When you teach us in class, make her sit on a chair and she'll automatically fall asleep. At the end of this ruler, there's an idiot. I have a question. What? Which end? Can I borrow your phone to call my girlfriend? Your phone's a genius. What I... Your phone's a genius. When I put in her number, it showed up... Mm. Your phone's a genius. When I put in her number, it said calling girl... girl. Your phone's a genius. When I put in her number, it said calling girlfriend. Here's the three most dangerous kid toys. In the 1990s, Rollerblade Barbie was released. Each Rollerblade used the same wheel mechanism they use in cigarette lighters. So when the Barbie was rolled, they would shoot out sparks. In 1996, the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid was released. It ate plastic foods that came with it and exited through a hole in the backpack. 
but the toy couldn't tell whether it was plastic, your finger, or your hair. And one girl's hair was ripped down to her scalp. Finally, in the 1990s, Nickelodeon released Moon Shoes, which you would strap onto your feet and the springs would help you jump higher. However, they weren't very safe and lots of people sprained and broke their ankles. Why didn't you show up to dinner last night? I'm sorry that I couldn't make it. Ah, <sighs> and that's why I cheated on you and went with someone else. Wow, I was at a funeral. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know that. Who died? My feelings for you. <gasps> Stop taking pictures of yourself. Make me. I'm sorry, but your mom already made that mistake. <gasps> I'm actually using this celebrity lookalike app, see? What? How do I get that? Just click the link on my profile. For some reason, I got the same as you. You should go study. But why? So you get good marks. Then, you'll get a good paying job. Then, you'll get a big house, a nice car, and have a better life. Then, you will relax. What do you think I'm doing right now? Is there a problem, officer? Ma'am, you are speeding. Oh, I see. Can I see your license, please? I'd give it to you, but I don't have one. You don't have one? I lost it four years ago for drunk driving. I see. Can I have your vehicle registration papers, please? I can't do that. Why not? I stole this car. Stole it? Yes, and I killed the owner. You what? His body's in the trunk. I need backup. Ma'am, could you step out of your vehicle, please? Is there a problem, sir? One of my officers told me that you stole this car and murdered the owner. Murdered the owner? Yes, could you please open the trunk? Is this your car? Yes, here are the registration papers. My officer claims you don't have a license. Here it is. My officer said you don't have a license, stole the car, and murdered the owner. I bet that liar told you I was speeding, too. First name, Robin. Last name, the bank. So you're Robin the bank? I'm going to show you guys how you can add more movies and TV shows to your Netflix account. For example, if you're from America or Canada, you can't watch Doctor Who. But if you change your location to say United Kingdom, then refresh the Netflix app and search up Doctor Who again, it'll show up this time and you could watch it now. Before I show you how to get the app, make sure you hit the like button, then press share copy link so more people can see this. Then click this link on my profile and press Netflix hack to download the app. Have you ever wanted to figure out what celebrities you look like? Well, I'm going to show you how. First, you're going to want to click the link on my profile, then press celebrity lookalike and download the app. Once you open the app, you're going to want to take a picture, then it'll show you who you look like. Take a friend who should try this and let me know in the comments who you get. Our principal's an idiot. Do you know who I am? No. I'm his daughter. Do you know who I am? No. Good. Normal looking photos with disturbing backstories. This looks like a normal picture at first, but if you look on the left, you could see a hand around the girl that doesn't belong to any one of them. People believe this is the hand of a ghost because the picture was taken near a haunted house. This picture was taken in 1998, a few minutes before the red vehicle on the right had a bomb explode inside of it. Luckily, the father and son survived, but the person taking the picture didn't. In 1975, these two brothers took a picture because their hair was sticking up. A few seconds later, lightning struck and another hiker died. The boys survived, but one of them got third degree burns and later took his life. Are you guys ready to order? Yeah, can I get your guys' famous burger just without the tomatoes, please? You don't like tomatoes? No! I love them! For some reason, I just don't want them on my burger. Mom, look what I got on my math test! Oh my gosh! Did you actually get 100%? No! I got 10%, but my teacher accidentally wrote an extra zero. So, did you come to watch the game? No! I came to do my homework! How did you get 2 plus 2 wrong? I don't know. You're stupid, that's how. I'd slap you, but that would be animal abuse. This restaurant looks cheap. Look, there's crumbs on the table. They didn't even wash it. That's disgusting. Let's just wipe off the crumbs and sit down. Hello, what can I get for you guys? I'll just have a coffee. Me too, and make sure the cup is clean. Okay, I'll be right back. Now, which one of you wanted the clean cup? <gasps> Mom, I'm gonna bring Bobby with me and we're gonna go eat dinner, okay? Alright, sounds good with me. Just make sure he takes care of you. Don't worry, Mommy. We'll be good. Come on, let's go. Have fun. So, what are we gonna eat? Mmm, do you wanna order pizza slices? Sure, why not? It is Friday, after all. Hey guys, what's for dinner? Oh, hey! Your brothers went out for dinner, so your dad and I decided to order pizzas for ourselves. Well, what about me? That was
is Justin? Why is Justin's number on your burner phone? What's going on? I promise I'll explain everything when all of this is over. All of what is over? What are you involved in? And how do you know my boyfriend? We've literally been dating for two weeks. I know. I'm the one who made sure you two met. What does that even mean? Why? Because I needed someone to protect and watch out for you. Like a bodyguard? Who the heck are you? You'll understand. Right now you need to tell me where Herb is. I don't know! I'm currently freaking out that my mom set me up with a fake boyfriend. I'm sorry, honey. I need to find out the truth. Okay, I'm asking Herb myself. Ten minutes later. Honey, are you okay? Herb just showed me a picture. She sends the picture. Oh my god. Don't worry, honey. It's going to be okay. I've got this covered. And that's the end of the story. But if you want more just like that, then click the link on my profile to download the app. I've got a joke. Okay, what is it? What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Aww, how did you know? Because it's nacho joke. Luke, where's your homework? I'm really sorry, I don't have it here. How come? I ate my worksheets. What? Why would you do such a thing? Because my dog refused to. I have something very serious to tell you. Really? What is it? According to DNA test results, that isn't our kid. You don't remember, do you? Remember what? When we were leaving the hospital, we noticed our baby had a dirty diaper, so you told me to go and change the baby. <gasps> what is the secret of your success? Two words. And what are they? Right decisions. But how do you make right decisions? One word. And what is that? Experience. And how do you get that? Two words. And what are they? Wrong decisions. Here's the only way to survive a grenade blast. The first thing you want to do is turn the other direction and get at least 15 feet away. Then lay on your stomach with the bottom of your feet pointing at the grenade. This will reduce your chances of getting hit by the fragments. But if you do get hit, it will be the bottom of your shoes instead of your skin. Now before I tell you what to do if there's a grenade in the water with you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Marilyn Monroe. If you want to find out who you look like, just press this button on my profile. Now if there's a grenade in the water with you, don't swim deeper, get out. Swimming deeper will cause the blast of the grenade to compress your lungs and cause serious damage. Do you want to be my partner? No, you're a loser. I may not be perfect, but at least I'm not you. Your hair looks so bad. You have the entire year to be a jerk, why don't you take today off? I know. I want to surprise my girlfriend for Valentine's Day, so I got her these chocolates and a present, and now I'm going to invite her over. But first, I have to make my room look nice and romantic. So I opened up the Govi app and turned on all my lights. Then I went to the Govi light studio and picked out my favorite scene on the Valentine's Day page. Now that my room's all ready for her to come over, I opened up my messages to text her and realized I don't even have a girlfriend. Yesterday I posted a TikTok about me posting a TikTok and getting a lot of comments about my teeth. You need to brush your teeth. Your teeth are so yellow. You need to go to the dentist. And I didn't expect the video to get 2 million views. It was just to promote my YouTube video. And lots of people aren't going to watch it. So I figured I'd make this video to show you guys what my teeth looked like before. And after using Crest 3D whitening strips for 14 days, this is what they look like now. Hey Tina, I got you a drink. I can't open it. You're that weak. Give it to me. I'll open it for you. Until I make you mine, put your hand in mine. <gasps> you so why did you bring your cat in today? I think there might be something wrong with her eyes. She keeps knocking into things. Interesting. Can I see her? Yeah, here you go. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly examine her. <sighs> I'm gonna have to put her down. What? Why? Because my arms are getting sore. You think you're smart? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh yeah? Spell it. S-M-A-R-T. I said spell it. <gasps> Here's why the queen always carries her purse. Inside the bag she carries a mirror, a pen, lipstick, a few mints, and her reading glasses. But on Sundays she also carries money for church donations. However, she mainly uses it as an indicator for her staff. When the queen shifts her purse from one hand to the other, it means she's ready to finish that conversation. If the queen puts her purse on the dinner table, it means she wants the event to be over within the next five minutes. When the queen puts her purse on the floor, it means she's finding no pleasure in the conversation and would like someone to help her out. And finally, when the queen twists her ring, it means she needs to be rescued immediately. Why are you on your phone? Because this lesson's boring. While you're on there, text your mom and tell her I'll pick her up at 5. Looks like we're both picking up our girls at 5. Who's your girl? Your daughter. <gasps> hey, do you want to study on a plane after school? Why do you want to do that? For higher education. Son, you have to work five times as hard as you did last year to get a good mark on the exam. But dad, what? Zero times five equals zero. He made two fat jokes about me yesterday. That's a lie. Then why would she remember you making them? 
Because elephants never forget. Are you okay? Help me! What happened to you? Call me an ambulance! Okay, thank you! Hey, an ambulance! What happened to you? Hey babe, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what is it? Does your family pray before you eat dinner? No. Why not? Because my mom knows how to cook. Quick, keep scrolling if you get addicted easily. This game is number one on the racing category and I can't stop playing it. You try and get to the finish line before anybody else and you could pick up boards to get across the water as a shortcut. If you want to try it for yourself, click the link on my profile, then press shortcut game to download it for free. Okay, people who won the food lottery. This person found a mini orange inside of their big orange. This vending machine had an error and distributed everything for the price of one item. This person found a green pepper growing inside of a red pepper. This person got a carton full of double yolk eggs. Now before I tell you the craziest one about this bacon, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. This person ordered bacon from Five Guys, but since he was their last customer before closing, they gave him the rest of their bacon for free. Why do you always look at that picture of me on your phone? When there's a problem, no matter how impossible it is, I look at your picture and it just disappears. You see how good I am for you? Yeah, when I look at your picture, I think to myself, what other problem could be bigger than this one? <laughs> if you can make me laugh, I'll PayPal you money. Go. Like, Yo, what oh. the heck? You better be joking. Stop. There's a ghost in your house. Don't just stand there. Run. There's a ghost. Run. Yeah, run! I'm not just gonna like get out of my house. Where am, where am I gonna go? I don't know anywhere but. Oh. I follow you into go, the man! I cannot do this right now. I can like. God, I never there, there's someone in the back. Like you. What the? Did you get home safe? No, I died a few times. Would you like a bag today? No thanks. I'll just carry the 20 items on my head. Mom, I'm going out with your friends. No, mom, with Dora the Explorer. Who's Dora? Is she your girlfriend? Three most dangerous airplane landings. On a Myanmar Airlines flight in 2019, the plane lost its front wheels, so they were unable to land. The pilot had to do circles around the landing area to burn fuel so it would slow down the plane and make it easier to land. The plane landed with the rear wheels first, then the nose of the plane hit the ground. Everyone remembers Sully after his emergency landing on the Hudson River. Two geese collided with the engines of the plane to make them stop working, so the pilot had no choice but to try landing in the river, which he did successfully. At an airport in South Sudan, a plane carrying 43 people caught on fire after the wing collided with a car. What happened is the pilot couldn't see the runway because of the heavy fog, so he had to make a blind landing. But fortunately, all the passengers got off safely. Here's your present. Is this for me? No! I just wanted to hand it to you so you could hand it back. Is it hot? No! I'm just blowing the dust off. Mom, can I borrow your nail clippers? What for? To slay a dragon. <laughs> Ow! Why does my shoulder hurt so much? Oh, I know, let me just switch it up. What? Does it mean when my shoulder hurts? I don't. What? No, 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 no. This can't be true. What if I search, what does it mean when you lift your arm and your shoulder hurts? I don't. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. What if I try another website? What's the matter? What do you want? I, I, I need to go to the hospital right now. Okay, go get in the car. So, what brings you in today, young man? My shoulder really hurts when I lift up my arm. Hmm. By any chance do you lift weights? Of course. Can't you see how swole I am? Of course I can. Well, it sounds to me like you just have a pulled muscle. Phew! Out! I want to break up with you. What? You'll never meet anyone else like me! Yeah, that's the whole point. No, I know. Oh god! Oh my gosh, is that snow? No, it's sugar. Mom, can you pass me a glass of water, please? Why, are you thirsty? No, I want to pour it down the sink. Are you going to eat those? No, I'm letting the chips get some fresh air. Hello? Wrong number! <sighs> Hello? Okay, so that's one with cheese and one with pepperoni. You can pick it up in 20 minutes. Who was that? I don't know, but I took his order, so now we can sleep.
Here's the three most dangerous kid toys. The kite tube was made to be pulled behind a boat and then raised up into the air. But when people would get up into the air, they would have no control. And although it looks fun, three adults were killed from falling off. This floaty was made for babies to sit in. However, it was cheaply made and ripped easily, causing babies to fall into the water. The company was fined $650 for knowing about this problem for six years. Slip and slides may not seem dangerous, however, they're only meant for kids. In 1993, there was a warning issued for teens and adults using slip and slides. The slides aren't long enough for their size and weight, so people People were getting hurt from the sudden stop. At the time of the warning, one teenager and seven adults had become paralyzed from neck injuries. There's something wrong with you. Something wrong with me? Yeah, you. The only thing wrong with me is that I'm talking to you. <laughs> Yesterday I seen him at the mall and I was standing there like, Are you on the phone? One second. No, I'm on the toilet. Are you leaving for school? No, I'm going to rob a bank. Are you lifting weights? No! I was gonna throw these at the TV! What?! You better be lying! No! I'm telling the truth! I'm having problems with my hearing. Okay, can you describe the symptoms? Sorry, what was that? Can you describe the symptoms? Oh, um, March has blue hair and Homer likes donuts. <gasps> Movie mistakes that made the final cut. In Star Wars Return of the Jedi, the Ewoks are bowing down to see 3 po In one clip they show a close-up of an Ewok's face, and if you look closely you could see a missing eye. If you look through the hole you could see the actor's face. During Rey and BB-8's first encounter, she noticed his antenna was bent and decided to help him out. When she took out the antenna to fix it, the top of BB-8 is a metallic grey color. But when she goes to put the antenna back on, his head changes to white. Now before I tell you the craziest one about the Black Panther, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Marilyn Monroe. If you want to find out who you look like, just press the button on my profile. In the Black Panther, Shuri designed him an upgraded suit with a special pair of shoes called sneakers. They had this name because they absorbed sound so he could walk around quietly. It allowed the Black Panther to sneak behind his enemies without them hearing him. But later in the movie when he runs and jumps, the sound editors forgot to leave out the footsteps. My husband's missing. How long has he been missing for? Since last winter. So why did you wait till spring to report him missing? Because the landscaping company is asking too much to mow the lawn. <gasps> You're such a loser. Who's interrupting me during my TikTok? What's this? A package from Captain Bling Bling? Let's see what we got. The new MacBook Pro? There's probably nothing even in. Are you serious? Let's see if it works. <gasps> Thank you so much, Captain Bling Bling. I thought you were fake. Crazy laws that only exist in North Korea. In 2013, North Korea's leader made a law that there would only be 28 hairstyles allowed. 18 for the woman and 10 for the men. But the most unfair part is that the leader's haircut isn't even on the list. You can't watch your favorite shows on TV. They have three channels to choose from that are controlled by the government. The only people who are allowed to own cars are state officials. It's estimated that 1 to 10 in 1,000 people can own one. You can't make an international call. In 2007, a man was shot in a stadium because he made a call outside of North Korea. If you live in North Korea, you're forced to stay there for the rest of your life. Finally, if you thought the last one was crazy, you're not allowed to have your own opinions that go against the leader's rules. You'll be sent away to an educational camp where they'll threaten and torture you until you learn to not have your own opinion. I'm such a good sleeper. How do you know? I could do it with my eyes closed. Oh yeah? Well, I sleep better because I use this meditation app that increases focus, reduces stress, and makes you fall asleep faster. How do I get that? Click the link on my profile, then press meditation app and download it. What kind of boyfriend are you looking for? A boy who doesn't drink or smoke and he must wake up at 5 a.m. and go to sleep at 9 p.m. I know where you could find a boy like that. You do? Where? In jail. <gasps> are you gonna sit on that chair? No, I'm just pulling it out so I can sit on the floor. Are you gonna drink that? No, I'm gonna pour it on myself. Marissa? Huh? Hmm? <gasps> Are you proposing to me? No, my legs were just tired. All right, first question. Are you the killer? No. Are you sure? Yes. Killer say what? What? Ha, we got him. <gasps> Guilty. You must be exhausted. Why? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Oh. What's your name? Shakim Washim. That name sounds familiar. Oh, I remember. It was next to the word gorgeous in the dictionary. Oh, nice. <laughs> no. What is it, Doctor? I have bad news and really bad news. Well, let me hear it. 
The bad news is, I got your test results and you have 24 hours to live. Then what's the really bad news? I forgot to tell you yesterday. Son, if you study today, I'll buy you an Xbox. Okay, Dad. I'm done. I lied. Me too. Mom, you lied to me. When, son? You said my younger brother's a small angel. So? Why didn't he fly when I threw him off the balcony? Luke, give me your phone. But I already finished the test. Oh yeah? Let me see then. Yeah, you definitely failed. Why are you always so mean to me? Let me tell you something. You will never make it in life. Oh my gosh, sir, you're my favorite actor right now. Do you mind if I get a picture? <laughs> Thanks, but no. What? <laughs> Why not? Don't you remember me? I'm Mr. You will never make it in life. Yeah, tracking dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah. My laugh will arrive in four to five business days. <laughs> Edit, the package got stolen. <laughs> See, those oh. ones make me laugh. This dude speaks as if he's figuring out English each time he opens his mouth. <laughs> And it's surprised by the sounds slash words that are coming out. It's true. But then, just wait, a couple comments down on the exact same video. I don't know why y'all hate... I don't know why y'all love... I don't know why y'all... <clears throat> I can't even read this now because of the last <laughs> comment. <laughs> Yo, bro, did you know that Lisa's brothers are twins? Yeah, of course. Really? How old are they? 18. And the other one? I have a feeling that you are cheating on the test. What? Prove it. Well, the first question was who was the first president of the United States? The girl beside you put George Washington, and so did you. So, everyone knows he was the first president. Just wait a minute. The next question was who freed the slaves? The girl beside you put Abraham Lincoln, and so did you. Well, I read the textbook last night, and I remembered that. The next question was who was the president during the Louisiana Purchase? She put I don't know, and you put me neither. <gasps> Hi, can I get an M&M McFlurry, please? That will be three thirty-nine. Thank you. Unfortunately, the ice cream machine isn't working. Would you like a refund? No, you can just keep it. Did you buy that vehicle? No, I stole it for the day. I'll see you later, Mom. I'm going to the cinema with my friends. Ooh, you're going to watch a movie? No, we're going to go sit outside the door and listen to it. I want to break up with you. What? Why? Because I want someone who's strong, tall, and handsome, which isn't you. You're short, skinny, and nerdy. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry to bother you. I just think you're really handsome. Can I get your phone number? No thanks. What? Why not? Don't you remember? I missed your short, skinny, and nerdy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah. Can you see God? No. Can you touch God? No. Then there isn't a God. Can you see your brain? No. Can you touch your brain? No. Oh, so you don't have a brain? Mom, are you okay? You've been lying in here since you got home from work a few hours ago. You know what, honey? I'm not actually feeling that well. I have a bit of a headache. Oh, really? I think I might know why. Why do you think? It's because you're always on your phone. <laughs> Requesting permission to ask a question is asking a question without permission. Desperado. Go to bed, you'll feel better in the morning is the human yeah, version of yeah. saying did you turn it off and back on again. When we sleep, our brain makes up stories and then gets scared of them. Here's the only way to survive a crocodile attack. Crocodiles have the strongest jaws on the planet and they kill around a thousand people every year. If you see a crocodile while you're in the water, you need to stay calm and slowly swim away. If it's still chasing you when you get out of the water, you need to scream and run in zigzags. This will confuse the crocodile and it will eventually leave you alone. Now before I tell you what to do if it already has you in its jaw, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. If you want to try it too, just press this button on my profile. Now if it already has you in its jaw, you need to punch the eyes. This will stun the crocodile and it'll let you go. Let's see how smart you are. Fine. What's the opposite of bottom? Top. What does S-H-O-P spell? Shop. What do you do at a green light? Stop. <gasps> come on, come on. Yeah, let's go! Did they score? No, I'm just cheering for no reason. Oh, <gasps> is that blood? No, it's ketchup.
Did you find the golf club you wanted? Yeah, and I also got some golf balls. Nice, did you get the golf balls from the same place? No, I got them from Walmart. Babe, you have so many gaps between your teeth. So what? It looks like your tongue's in jail. Here is the only way to survive a shark attack. Try to avoid fishing boats. When a fish gets hooked, it bleeds and attracts sharks. Also avoid swimming at night because the sharks won't be able to see as well and they might mistake you as fish. The odds of being attacked by a shark are 11.5 million to 1, but if you're still scared, here's how you could defend yourself. Sharks are sensitive in their gills, so you're going to want to keep punching them until you can slowly back away. An Australian and an American surfer both did this and they survived. Athletes who were caught cheating. In 2012, it was confirmed that cyclist Lance Armstrong had used drugs throughout his career to enhance his performance. He received a lifetime ban and got his seven Tour de France victories taken away. Tom Brady demanded that the balls being used in a game between the Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts were to be slightly inflated to gain an advantage. Although they won 45 to 7, Brady was fined $4 million and banned for four games. Ben Johnson cheated to win the 100 meter dash in the 1988 Olympics. A prohibited anabolic steroid was detected in his samples, for which he was banned for two years. A few years later, he tested positive again and was banned for life. Finally, in the 1986 World Cup, in a game between Argentina and England, Diego Maradona scored a goal with his hand, and the referee counted it despite the evidence. Why are you late this morning? It's my alarm clock. Everyone got up except for me. How did the alarm clock wake everybody else up except for you? There's eight of us in my family, but the alarm clock was only set for seven. <gasps> hey, Luke. Huh? What are you doing? I'm doing my favorite supervillain's dance. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just love his laugh. <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm watching my favorite movie, The Joker. Now what are you doing? I'm playing this super fun zombie apocalypse game called State of Survival. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about The Joker. That's why I'm playing it. Huh? They're having a crossover with the Joker and I get to play as him. Oh no! The zombies are attacking my face! Don't ask me any more questions. Find out for yourself by pressing the button on Luke's TikTok profile.